Hello and happy Friday. Unfortunately, in my technical difficulties, I deleted the footage from this day. So I thought instead that I would do a room tour of my third year room at university, which I absolutely love. If you didn't see my second year room tour, which was actually really popular, then I'll put a link to it right there, where I am. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing how I moved everything from one room to the next and how I worked with the space, how I worked with the storage. This is probably my favourite room out of all three rooms that I've had through the red time at uni and I think it's definitely a thing you have to learn, making sure you have everything in the right place and you remember everything you need. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and I hope you enjoy. First we're going to start with the bed which is my favourite part of the entire room. I just love having the bed in the corner, it makes it feel really cosy. Um, everything is the same as it was before so if you want to know specific details about um, particular items then you can look at my second year room tour but the additional blanket that I have on my bed now is from Ikea and my lamp is from Ikea, my cushions are from Tesco's and so is my duvet cover and my teddies are from random gifts from people and the other blanket is from Sainsbury's I do believe and that's my laptop. And then this is my laundry basket, which I just tuck behind the door, and that's an Urban Outfitters bag. My laundry basket is from Ikea. And this is my hanging device, which I think is great for anybody that doesn't have enough space in your wardrobe. You'll see my wardrobe a little bit later on, it's very small. I just use this for dresses, which don't fit in my wardrobe, and coats, which obviously take up quite a lot of bulk. And it's become really handy this year to hang my bags on, actually, and my towels. Um, because right as I run out the door it's great to have somewhere to just hang everything and you can see my slips on the floor there and that's my university bag and my coat and my dressing gown and it's just worked really well and these are my shoes, it's just a collection of my different shoes, I have some heels, some flats, some boots and that's just a great place to keep them all organised and out of the way otherwise they just end up everywhere which they pretty much do anyway. Um, that's my heater, which I definitely recommend, living in the north, and my bin and my laptop bag, and this is my wall planner, which I definitely recommend. It makes me feel so organised. You can see I like to tick off the days and do little drawings for what each day does, and it's really great just for making sure you know what's going to happen when and preparing all those dreadful university deadlines. These are my lovely cards that I get from... Everybody that sends me cars, most of them are from my mum, that's a Winnie the Pooh quote, and um, they're all just great little reminders of all the support that I have behind me, and I've built them up over the three years, and there's birthday cards, that butterfly is actually a card, which I think is amazing, and that's one card that mum sent to me that I love. Um, these are my library books that I have at the moment, and my house keys, that is my iPod dock, which has been really helpful this year, so I like to wake up with the radio, and then this is my desk, I have a little... Um, laptop obviously and um, that's Megan Rosette's Tumblr because I've been listening to her music playlist which is amazing it's so relaxing and Christmassy and they're just bits and pieces uh, that lamp is from Ikea and my little stack of magazines is great you can see my tripod on the window there I love having the big windows it's been amazing being able to look outside and these are my photos <laughs> you can see there's a lot of photos this isn't even all of them um, it's a big collection over three years and some of them before the three years of uni and there's some of me and George and all sorts of different, his graduation, summer, me and my flatmate, me and my family, all different places and a lot of landscape photos as well because I love taking photos. This thing is from Wilkinson's and it's become so handy, those roses I got for being in someone's IS performance and it's just great for organising things, I have medicine, my makeup brushes, conditioner and yeah, it's great. It looks really nice in the room as well. And I think it was really cheap. It was probably £10 or something like that. Um, there's all my products. I keep in my nail varnish and nail files up the top. And that is my makeup basket, which I absolutely love because I can carry it around the house if I want to do my makeup somewhere else. And this is all my jewellery. There's not that much here. Most of my jewellery is at home. So I'm not really a jewellery person. And that's my mirror with my fairy lights because I've got to have some fairy lights somewhere in my room and then I have some birthday cards uh, one's from George, one's from my classmates and one's from my brother and a little piggy bank and these are all my books that I've built up over the three years as well I guess it really is like a university 
timeline in my room now. Um, and I have a basket that keeps all my hair tools, my hair dryer, my curling irons, and then there's just some storage boxes with a little doorstop that looks like a Victoria's Secret logo. That's my suitcase, and that's another big window. I love having the big windows and stalking people outside. <laughs> and there's me again. You're really subtle, Sarah. Those fairy lights are were a gift when I first ever came to uni and I just love them. They make that area so cosy. And yeah, I love that little area where I can sit down and do my makeup. This is my wardrobe, um, which as I said before is tiny because um, you can't fit a dress into that amount of space. The top drawer I have for underwear, the middle drawer is for tops and the lower drawer is for bottoms, which is pretty self-explanatory. And that's it, this mirror I found in the room when I arrived, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want any more details on any of the parts of my room, then um, go and watch my second year room tour, and if not, leave me a comment below. I hope you enjoyed it, and look at all the romantic, slowly panning we're doing now around the room. Um, and it took me a long time to edit this and create it, and thank you for giving me a reason to tidy my room. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow. I didn't know you could even have a favourite Cockney rhyme slang. This is going really well so far. I really feel like I'm not actually British. Uh, maybe just love. You're right, love. But people say that all over the country. It's not just in 